everybody it is saturday a beautiful day it was kind of cool this morning it scared me i thought fake spring was back but it was all good it was just a cool morning we're good now and now the bumblebees are out yes the bumblebees are out we'll take the bumblebees though as long as there's sunshine we had to come in to get the basket because there are eggs we forgot to grab the basket you want to get it, yeah we're gonna go get eggs you want to go Woo! it's bright huh yeah, trees. Tree. Yeah. That's his new word for the day. Well, one of them at least. Tree. Watch the tree. Go get the eggs. Yeah, one, two, three. Go get the eggs. There's three of them. Oh, that's a stump. That's a board. We got to get it over here to the burn pile. Let's put it over here on the burn pile. We called upon Tyler to get the eggs because me and Cece both have our flip flops on. And the girls, they were pecking at our feet, huh? Oh, you can't get in? Here, you wanna go in? There you go. Come on, girls. We're gonna let them come out for a little bit. Oh, she's happy. Come on, Roosty's the last one out. He has to make sure everybody else gets out. Here he comes. There they go. Now Manly feels like it's safe to go in. He wants to get their little feed ball. Yeah. Chicky, he wants to give the chicky the feed ball. There you go. It's probably out. They need some feed in it. Yeah, can you, we, you can get some out of their feed thing in there. Oh, they're following Tyler. I always try to wait to let them have their little time out after we get the eggs. That way we don't have to go on an egg hunt. Are you having fun? <laughs> What did Roosty say? Can you do it? He's copying us. <laughs> They're like, it's a giant baby. Help us. What did Roosty say? Roosty, he's going over there to the farm. What did he say? <laughs> What's that over there, bud? What's that? Bull. That ain't no bull. What is that? Bull. Okay. <laughs> this is when me and Manly talk to each other. See, I know his language, don't I, buddy? What's that right there? <laughs> That's the way we talk to each other, right there. <laughs> yeah. I've thought about just changing that from caballo or horse or anything. Just anytime I pull up at a barn, you know, and be like, how many? <laughs> Y'all won't have to shoot today. <laughs> See? We're making up our own language is what we do. <laughs> Alright y'all, we just got back home. I had to run to Ingles real quick because you know I had chicken pot pies on the meal plan. That's what we're having for supper tonight. But I only got one box of the pie crust and I make two chicken pot pies. I don't know what I was thinking when I only got one box. Anyway, so I had to go to Ingles to get those. Oh, I almost got attacked by this bouncy ball. Jonah keeps calling it a moon ball because it's so bouncy. He got it at Ingles. There you go. I'm putting my pie crust in the oven real quick. I mean, not the oven, the refrigerator. Oven's ready. So yeah, I had to go get the pie crust because I needed one for the second chicken pot pie. I also needed some more peppers because the ones that I got are not hot. And Titus, he's in a spicy pepper mood these days. So I grabbed some spicy peppers and I got an orange. I have some little man uh, mango, not mango, little, the little halo oranges I think is what I have. Anyway, I needed a big one because we're gonna make a buttermilk orange cake. And also, while I was in there, I looked at the coffee creamer because I ran out of my caramel macchiato one that I got from Aldi the other day and I'm almost out of the coconut one. 
So I went over there to the creamers and guess what I found? The glazed donut coffee creamer. So many of y'all have told me about this and I haven't been able to find it, but I found it. I also saw the oatmeal cream pie one, but I didn't get that one. I just wanted to try the glazed donut one. So I got that. I also needed orange marmalade for the cake. I had to go through the produce section, you know, to get the orange and the peppers, and that's where they have their rotisserie chickens. And I walked past them, and I was like, I should just get two rotisserie chickens to shred up to make these chicken pot pies. And I was like, nah, I'll just make the chicken. I'll just cook the chicken when I get home, and we'll do it that way. We're leaving. What do you think they have right there at the registers, right before you leave? They have a rotisserie chicken stand set up, and I grabbed two of them. I sure did. I got two of them, so we're going to shred these up real quick. I actually like the flavor of the rotisserie chicken and chicken pot pies anyway. All right, we got the chicken ready. I shared this recipe a couple of months ago, but it was in a grocery haul, and I know not everybody watches the grocery haul, so we're gonna go through it again real quick. These are so good. Y'all know the chicken and dumpling recipe that we love. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. They're the best chicken. I didn't even like chicken and dumplings until I had those chicken and dumplings. But the, uh, these chicken pot pies, or chicken pot pie, if you just make the original recipe, it's almost like those chicken and dumplings, only there's pie crust instead of the dumplings. So I am making a double batch of the recipe. I put in one stick of butter. I'll have the original typed out for y'all though if you don't wanna make two, that way you'll know, you know, how much you need for just one. Okay, while this butter is melting, we're gonna go ahead and slice up an onion carrots and celery. Now we put all of this in here with the melted butter. We also need two cloves of garlic. So I'm going to grab that real quick. Now, we're just gonna let this cook for about five minutes until the onions and everything start to get tender. This is really fast, especially if you pre-prep the vegetables and have a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> it's really fast to put together. While these are going, we're gonna go ahead and put the bottom of the pie crust in our pie plates over here. Over here, we're putting in two thirds of a cup of all purpose flour, some dried parsley, salt, and pepper. And the recipe also calls for dried thyme, but I don't have any of that. Should have remembered to get that at Ingalls, but I didn't. I don't think I had it last time either. We just left it out. Okay, now we're just mixing this, coating the vegetables with the flour. We need three and a half cups of chicken broth in here, and one cup of heavy cream. Okay, so I'm just whisking this together. When I get it mixed well, we're gonna let it simmer for 10 minutes. While it's simmering, I'll do a quick little cleanup. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Now we add in the chicken. And the last thing we add in is frozen sweet peas, but you can leave these out. And I don't put this whole bag. I just put probably about a cup. That's it. Now we put this into the pie shells. Now we just take our other crusts and put them on top. And they are ready to go in the oven. They have to go in the oven for about 45 minutes. And I'll just keep a watch on them if I need to cover the edges of the crust with foil so they don't get too dark. We'll do that, but I'm not going to do it right away. We'll just keep a watch and see if we need to. the 
chicky good night. Say good night. It's a little while later now. The kitchen is still a mess. Manly started falling asleep in his high chair tonight when we were eating supper. So as soon as I finished eating, I went and gave him his bath and got him to sleep. We have a little bit of each chicken pot pie left over and some corn. I just made some cream corn to go with it. I've showed y'all this recipe a bunch of times, but I'll have it in the description box for y'all. I think it's a snap clean kind of night. Is that what y'all are feeling? That's what I'm feeling. 